Hong Kong shares many similarities with Singapore. It's true that we have a number of competitors in our region that begin with the letter S. Uh, but like Singapore, Hong Kong has uh, rule of law, low and simple taxation. Uh, what sets Hong Kong apart, though, is Hong Kong's location. Hong Kong is very centrally located, so it's very accessible for the leading cities, not only in Southeast Asia and mainland China, but in places like Korea and Japan. Well, the business climate in Hong Kong has evolved very rapidly over the last decade, and two clear opportunities have emerged. There's a business to consumer opportunity, and this stems from the fact that we have a large number of high net worth individuals in Hong Kong, even more high net worth individuals in the economies surrounding Hong Kong. Uh, and these wealthy individuals are traveling to Hong Kong in growing numbers. Last year we had over 50 million visitor arrivals, and these visitors come to shop. So we have tremendous concentrations of the brands, the products, the services that these wealthy individuals want to buy. And so for Indian companies that have a consumer product, a brand or a consumer service, Hong Kong's a great place to start because this affluent segment of China's population will come to you. You don't have to open up right across China. From our initial studies, we see some real potential in things like fintech, financial services technology, but also in e-commerce and e-retailing. You know, China's a major market as well as a major place to source consumer products. Hong Kong's a great place because you've got access to not only the world's social media, the Facebooks, the Twitters, and so on, but also all the social media channels on the mainland as well. So it's a, a very special node for doing e-retailing and e-promotion. Hong Kong has long been a major manufacturing center and a center for the command and control of manufacturing across China. And traditionally, Hong Kong's industries have been in apparel, in garments, but now many of these traditional entrepreneurs, traditional tycoons, are very interested in the startups that have wearable technology. So Hong Kong could be a great place where some of the most innovative wearable devices can meet the traditional garment manufacturers. And we think there's a lot of room to, to make these introductions and have some of these traditional business leaders invest in some of these startups. You know, we're looking at FinTech because Hong Kong is one of the world's leading financial service centers. We've got a very broad, a very deep pool of financial service uh, companies. And of course, on the back of that, and on the back of the fact that Hong Kong is now becoming the most important offshore renminbi trading platform in the world, we're seeing a lot of fintech companies coming into that space. Uh, we're looking to support these companies where we can, and some of our co-work spaces, some of our incubators, are really starting to focus more and more on fintech. So Hong Kong is fairly unique because, although it's very compact and comparatively small, you have a whole range of different accommodation options in, within a very small space. So you might have one of the most expensive financial towers on the waterfront, but within two or three blocks, you could have a building that is one third of the price. Two or three stops round on our subway, the MTR, the buildings could be another third cheaper. So for us, when we're attracting startups, we often show them that some of these co-work spaces are cheaper than co-work spaces in London, New York, or Silicon Valley. You can rent a desk, a seat in a co-work space for as little as 130 US dollars a month in Hong Kong. Much of our work now is about promoting Hong Kong, not just as a business location, but as a growing startup hub. We need to communicate the fact that the startup community is growing from a low base extremely rapidly. Uh, if you go back three years, we had just two co-work spaces in Hong Kong. Today we have 20. We've seen the number of startups that we support and invest in Hong Kong grow by 60%. And we believe this is just the beginning. 
we believe with the startmeup.hk program, we can really encourage more and more companies to come and more and more entrepreneurs from around the world to start businesses in Hong Kong.